So um, now I would just give you a little um, introduction to a lightweight car model. And I also want to show it to you within Activate. So I would just show you a few slides, talk a bit about it, and then I will show you the actual model. So this here is a part of the car model, a part I would like to show you because you can see here uh, different parts of the whole car, and we separated the parts into those subsystems. We merged the system parts into superblocks. So what is the main part of a car? Obviously, yeah, it's the driver, which is nothing but a PI controller here. Uh, with two signals going out, the gas signal. Uh, well, that's a German word, actually. It's called throttle or accelerator. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> and the brake signal. Uh, then we have our engine component, a, 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 a gear, a differential gear. Then we have a right, a left wheel, and we have driving resistance superblock, uh, which contains resistance like... Um, uh, air drag, like drag resistance, for example, or um, if you have a slope driving up a hill, that's also resistance. We will take a look at this in a few seconds. So, here we can see the driver subsystem. It's just a PI controller with anti wind up. Um, yeah, this is actually how it looks inside such a super block. As what you can see here is the driving resistance block, which in this example only contains some drag resistance, um, signal flow based. You can see the constant with the CW, and behind this you can see that function. This both components are signal flow based and then connect it to this force component, this arrow, to the which shows to the right side. This is a modelica component, which is basically just a force for a translational movement. And we just um, subtract the force of the actual um, moving force of the vehicle, the actual drive force of the vehicle. So this is how to combine these both um, approaches to model. Yeah, this is actually already what I showed you, how to define model parameters. Um, one, a few words to um, the vehicle parameters at this point. Um, you, of course, you cannot just declare single parameters, you can also declare vectors, like we used for the talk table. There's the lin space command, which will, uh, for example, make a vector uh, with the lower value zero and the upper value max talk engine. And seven means we will have uh, seven steps between those both values. So we will have seven values with a, zero, with a minimum and a maximum between those both values. The same for the brake force. Yeah, this this slide, I know it's a lot of text, but this slide is actually just uh, saying that if we change a parameter, we will see changes in our scopes, of course, in our plots. Um, for example, in this example, we just changed the uh, CW value, which is in English, uh, CD value. Uh, which is the drag coefficient uh, from 0 0.8, uh, 0.18 to 0 0.24. And we see there's um, in the plots um, a, a difference in the energy usage. Um, so if we increase this drag coefficient, there is more energy used on the same distance, of course, because the, the resistance is much higher, or not much higher, but higher. And here you can see the actual lightweight car. Um, 
let's take a closer look what we have here. What what you saw in the slides were just this part of the model. But of course, you also have the drive cycle, for example. Now I'm going to show what is a mask. You can see here, I made a double click on this super block, and this is an actual mask. And here we can choose between, between a real drive cycle and an artificial drive cycle. So this is a pretty nice idea with the mask. We can go in here, and you see here a super block for an artificial drive cycle and a real drive cycle. Both are deactivated, and the one will be activated we have chosen with this include diagram block. So we can have kind of, um, we can use a bit of logic. We can programmatically um, control our model. As you can see, the diagram choice here is diagram selection. So that means we can choose between this and this by changing our mask. And um, yeah, the drive cycle is just an output of uh, our desired speed. Yeah? We want to have a certain speed and our driver will uh, just drive this speed, will make the car drive the speed. <laughs> I hope this at least. Let's see if it does. Ah yeah, um, yeah. I, I would, I will come to this. Uh, why there was just this uh, input mask right now? So right now, the model is uh, compiled, will be compiled, and. Um, Sometimes this takes a bit more time, sometimes less, depending on how many programs you're using or um, what kind of drive cycle you're using. So this is this is the, what comes out. This is our our results of the whole simulation. Um, now you can see the actual artificial drive cycle. I, I created some. Uh, parts uh, where it's faster or slower, and you can here see the energy as a function of distance. Um, well, um, so I would just try click here again. Now you can see here we also can have a mask like this where you can redefine your parameters before simulating. And this is made, if you go here, in our initialization script. There's this input dialog function where you can uh, create this mask and can uh, um, make this possible to change those parameters right before the simulation. So yeah, we have, also here we have a mask we could just change the table. We could create another talk table. The talk table is a table where we have um, a function of um, the accelerator function, which is called uh, guess, <laughs> and um, of the talk. Accelerator above talk, or better talk above accelerator. So this is um, how we can um, create mass. And um, now we go to the visualiz visualization part. You can see here, as I showed you in the slides, you have the signal out block. Go into post-processing, you can see here. Okay, 